Now, here's a love story with a difference. Three years ago, Emily and Robbie were both at death's door and desperately in need of organ transplants. Then they met each other in rehab and they now joke that she stole his new heart <laughs> while he took her breath away. Sunrise correspondent Nathan Templeton caught up with a couple who have truly beaten the odds. He might cop some ribbing from his big brother. I'll call everyone and get everything sorted because you do nothing else. Yes, I'll do your job too then. But Robbie is wrapped to be back working in the family panel beating business. Luck is an understatement. Born with a rare heart condition, Robbie spent much of his childhood in hospital. At age 17, he had a defibrillator implanted and at 24 suffered massive heart failure. His only hope was a new heart. The day I got told that I had to have a transplant, I was absolutely freaked it. Cracked it, stormed out of the doctor's room. I started crying. I'll go, I've been through enough don't want to do it. But he did eventually have the transplant and three years later he's healthy. I'm very grateful to the person that passed for giving me this gift of life. So without them I literally would not be standing here having this chat with you today. That's not all Robbie's grateful for because soon after the operation someone stole that new heart, Emily. Her story of survival is just as remarkable. She has cystic fibrosis. The teenage years are the hardest, so they, would, they told my family that I probably wouldn't make it through the teenage years. And most of my friends that I knew that had CF didn't make it. By the age of 26, she had only 28% lung capacity. There were days where I couldn't walk up the hallway. I would have maybe would have lasted yeah, another year. Thankfully, Emily received a new set of lungs and it was in the rehab gym that she noticed Robbie. I remember him specifically being a really hard egg to crack. Like, just no no eye contact, no you know, casual conversation. Just He gave me nothing to work with, to be friends, just nothing. And so, Robbie, was that always the plan, to play Mr Mysterious? Straight on man, keep him keen. <laughs> There's more to the story. Emily had been engaged when they first met, but when that was called off, the relationship changed. And then all of a sudden, it was a different Robbie. It was all chatty and friendly. So we added each other on Facebook. So my plan worked. Nowadays, they playfully bicker like an old married couple. It's awesome. It's good for you, because I remind you about your meds constantly. Yeah. Because he forgets them all the time. I'm very grateful. <laughs> Yeah, because you're the lucky one. <laughs> Emily and Robbie are helping to promote Donate Life Week, which starts this Sunday. There are currently 1,400 Australians waiting for an organ. 6.7 million Aussies are registered as donors, but only 8% of 18 to 25-year-olds are signed up. And research has shown that low number is due, in part, to some bizarre myths. Remarkably, 18% of younger people surveyed believe that an emergency room doctor wouldn't try as hard to save their life if they were signed up as an organ donor. Obviously that's nonsense and it's not the only fake news when it comes to donation. The most common one that I hear is that people think that they're too old or they're not healthy enough. They say, oh, I drink, I smoke, you wouldn't want my organs. That's simply not true. You can register by going to donatelife.gov.au and then make sure your family knows that you want to be a donor. You can save up to seven different people, giving them a chance at life. And although for me it's not a cure to my cystic fibrosis, it's giving me an extension of a life I never would have had before. Yep. Get behind it. Be a registered organ donor. And what a Important. lovely love story. Yeah.